only uh, yeah. I mind impressed into the Air Force because uh, there weren't too many around. No? Frankly, um, Dave and were, uh, were impressed. Back you were, Dad. Later uh, sold post uh, World War II. But we're, we're really um, lucky to have examples of these aircraft because these were uh, the aircraft of movie stars. Um, and they could be fitted with a variety of engines. G'day ladies and gents, welcome to War Thunder with Mags and welcome to the Boomerang Revisited. Now first things first, the in-game sound effects for the Boomerang's engine really don't do justice to the real thing, do they? Now a little while ago, not long after 1.37 dropped, I got asked to revisit the Boomerang and see how it performed with the current matchmaker. And honestly, I, I never really flew it, and part of the reason was because of what Gaijin did with the battle ratings. When 1.37 dropped, the Boomerang was tiered with the Spitfire 2B at a battle rank of 3.3. Now this is completely appropriate for the plane, because the Boomerang effectively was an Australian version of the Spitfire 2B. The difference between it was, the Spitfire was a little bit faster and a little bit less durable. Boomerang was a little bit slower and a little bit heavier. Boomerang was also more heavily armoured, so you were choosing between speed and durability when selecting between the 2B and Boomerang. About a week after 1.37 dropped, however, she got another up tier, this time to battle rank 3.7. Now, Boomerang is an Era, th era 2 aircraft, but three, battle rating 3.7 is an Era 3 battle rating. This plane would effectively always face aircraft, the, battle, the full Era above it, at all times. And had the potential, because it was carrying a Era 3 battle rating, that as a Terra 2 aircraft, it could face Era 4 aircraft. As a matter of fact, I have actually seen the first LA-7 in combat against the Boomerang when I've flown it out before. So I, after seeing that, I sort of stopped flying it, because it really was depressing. However, reading the recent patch notes for 1.38, the Boomerang is about to receive another up tier to battle rating 4 and I couldn't work out why this was happening. So I figured now would be the time to go back and revisit the Boomerang and find out why Gaijin is tearing it up again. Is Maybe there is something that I've missed. Maybe there's something that I didn't take into account. So time to find out. Speed performance on the Boomerang is still where it always was. Uh, 250 to 300 kilometers an hour in level flight to a slight climb, depending on angle. It's an incredibly slow aircraft. Now, the aircraft you'll face most commonly in the Boomerang, due to it being available in two nations, is the P-47. That's the premium P-47 for the Germans, and the American P-47 in the alternate history maps. Now, this is an aircraft that's only two seconds slower in the Virage time compared to the Boomerang, but it's over 140 kilometers an hour faster, has a higher climb rate, a faster dive rate, and even though it's only equipped with 50 caliber machine guns, the P-47 has a f over a 4 kilo burst mass. The Boomerang's armament of four 7.7s and two 20mm cannons only has a burst mass combined of 3.7 kilos, and that 3.7 only lasts so long as those 20mm have ammunition, which is about 5 to 6 seconds of combat, depending on how good you are with the trigger. Once those cannons run out of ammunition, your effective burst mass is a little over 1 kilo. That's all you've got. And why it does have an exceptionally large amount of ammunition for those, uh, for those 7.7s, it is by no means a huge amount of stopping power. The machines you're facing, things like the P-47, easily match the boomerang in durability. So it's definitely not armament and it's not speed that it's getting up-tiered for. 
So I've just climbed down up to 12,000 feet. I've dropped the nose. I'm full wet. I'm doing about 320 kilometers an hour. This is about as fast as the boomerang gets in level flight. You'll get a little bit more if you juke around a little bit, but it's not quick by anyone's standards, especially not fighting aircraft that are in error three. And because of the battle rating, every aircraft in this match is error three. There's a Do 217 that's passed overhead. I'm not even going to waste my time trying to kill those things. The, the firepower just won't last. I might have a chance to kill it, but it'll cost me most of my ammunition to do so. So first up, 109F is approaching in. Now 109F is almost 200 kilometers an hour faster than Boomerang, but because of the compressibility that's been added to the 109 series, its maneuverability is severely hampered. So the Boomerang definitely has it in this particular area, but I have to be able to catch it first. So just duck underneath to avoid the pass, invert into a under loop. I'm not going to be able to get the uh, F series went vertical. I'm not going to be able to catch it. It's already back on my tail. So I'm diving down. There's a JU87 below me. That's something that's far closer to my speed. Seeing that the F series was coming back in, I pull back up, drop combat flaps, and immediately loop it back around. And this is well, this is a, basically how the boomerang suffers in every battle. You will be boom and zoomed by every aircraft you face because you are almost always the slowest aircraft in the battlefield. Standing on the elevators to try and bring the guns around on the F4 trop, but by the time I've got them up, it's already out of gun range again and climbing away, and I just cannot keep up with it. It ducks down, so once again, loop through. Almost get the guns far enough ahead, Try attempt a shot, I get a hit. No criticals, but enough to tag it and let me know it's there. Pull straight underneath, I try and dive down. But as you can see, it just points the nose down and runs away, pulls straight at a gun range. I try some sneaky long range shots, and I'm usually pretty good with them, but nothing major hits. Into a dive. Now, the P-47 that's ahead in that line, there's three aircraft booming through here, and it's the most dangerous of the lot. My ally's about to get shot down, he's just taken a big hit, he's not going to be able to finish the P-47 off, and the last thing I want is that P-47 to come around, so I let the F-4 go. Why the P-47's at low energy, follow it through. And there's a hit, set him on fire. I'm down to 45 rounds of cannon ammunition. This thing's nearly out of effective firepower. Immediately pull back into an angled climb, try and get, get a little bit of altitude back up so I'm ready to go offensive. But, in the time that it took me to kill that P-47, the F4 Tropical and the other fighter that was in the area just vanished. They just pulled away and disappeared. I re-sight the F4 down the river, but it's already nearly three kilometers away and just pulling away. Boomerang cannot catch it. So all I can do now is follow and hope that it turns around. Now from this point, this just became a giant game of chasey for about the next 10 minutes, me flying around until somebody decided to come and fight me, and that's the problem with Boomerang at fighting this level of aircraft. You cannot intercept anything, you cannot catch anything. Even the bombers at this tier are faster than you are. All you can do is fly around until some, eventually somebody is going to have to come at you to try and kill you. So we're about 8 minutes past, and finally a 109E decided to try and make a pass on me, and open me a window to actually move in and intercept it. So I'm at full wet, fully folded up to try and catch up. First hit in. Take it for altitude, invert and roll back down. And you can see the E3 is even already pulling out of range. This is as close as I get. So I take some long range. This thing's got so much MGM, I can afford some uh, more speculative shots at range. Just trying to get some damage onto its control surfaces to try and slow it down, get it to jink, get it to move so I can get it back into cannon range. First critical. Still flying though. Second critical. 
More hits, more hits. There's another hit. And another. And another. And another. It doesn't seem to be making much of a difference to the E3, does it? There's another critical. So that's my third. At this time I've taken out, I've damaged its rudder, I've damaged its elevators, and I've damaged the ailerons on its right hand wing. The plane is still flying and is still able to outrun Boomerang. Again, just using the massive MG load on board to try and score more hits, and I'm, I'm getting them even at this range, I'm scoring hits against the E3, but it's just not stopping the plane. There's another two or three hits there. I'm completely out of cannon ammo now, so all these 7.7s is all I have left. Shooting at longer range here, I'm actually getting a lot of misses. There was no scores through that. Ah, there's another big hit. another whole bunch of hits there. you think you'd get it down at about this point with the amount of damage I've done to it, but nut just pulls up, keeps flying. I've now done damage to its engine. And more shots come in. An allied P-47 has just come in, and this is what you find flying at this tier in something like a boomerang. Other players just see you as complete hindrance, so this guy behind me, he's nearly going to kill me on no less than three occasions trying to shoot through me to kill this E3. Why I'm scoring more and more and more hits on it. Now shots coming through to the right, nearly take out the nose of my plane. Punching more hits into this E3, the next set of shots come through and I actually have to dodge. And he finally gets a shot in underneath me and takes the kill. I hit that plane 30 times and got 3 critical hits and the boomerang was incapable of killing it and that was only an E3. P47 hit it once. So another 8 to 10 minutes later and I finally get back to the centre of the battlefield and all that's left to kill is a single lonely AI that I managed to get through and get a sneaky crit on and only because the P47 was struggling to be able to get guns on it. And that was the end of this match. So the end result for this match was first place with two kills, one player and one AI. Final blow and balancer. Now balancer is nothing special in the boomerang. Everything you face will be almost a level and full error above you. So if you kill anything, you're likely to get the balancer award in boomerang in realistic battles. 62,965 credits, 9,218 mod research, and 4,609 base air research points. Now, the thing with this is because of the amount of hits that I got. I got 34 hits and 3 criticals for the match. All the criticals were on that E3, and 30 of the 34 hits were also on that E3. And Boomerang didn't have the firepower to be able to kill it. It took a P-47 to finish the damn job. I'm not seeing a reason yet for this thing to be battle rank 4 in 1.38. Keep into account that in realistic battles with a battle rating of 4, the battle rating for the Beck, uh, the F8F Bearcat, the 1 series with the MGs, is going to be 5.7, and you can be tiered up to battle rankings if you're good in an aircraft. Boomerang, if the battle ratings stay the way they currently are on the dev server, will be facing Bearcats next patch, and... If I can't deal with an E3 as a very good boomerang pilot and I struggle with P-47s, how are you supposed to deal with the Bearcat? But I was thinking about it after this, you know, maybe it was just a glitch in the battle ratings. Maybe it was only supposed to go to battle rating 4 in arcade. Maybe it performs much better there and is still on ultra-highly competitive aircraft. 
maybe there's something where it's still seal clubbing hardcore in there. So I'll, I'll fly it out in arcade and I'll see whether or not I can pull one of my old 10 or 15 kill battles. Because, you know, if I can still do that in arcade, it would make sense and maybe it wasn't ever supposed to receive a battle rating of 4 in realistic. And it's just, you know, a typo. So into battle I go. Now, keep in mind, the, the Spitfire 2B, which this thing is close enough to, has a realistic battle rating of 3, and an arcade battle rating of 3.3. .3. Boomerang has 3.3 .3 for realistic and 3.7 for arcade. You face higher level aircraft in arcade than you do in realistic battles as a result. And you run into the same problem. I've got Boomerang basically firewalled here, and I'm struggling to catch anything. I'm just, I'm trying to close here, and I'm just working the plane to the edge of its limits, and I'm only just managing to wind it in, and not before the plane's managed to get all the way back to its base. I've been intercepted by something that was able to hit me and pull out of my range faster than I was even able to turn and spot. Oh, he crashed. Ducked back into the valley for safety, and this, I found myself flying ultra defensively in the boomerang, even more than I normally would have. And that was just due to the amount of high-speed aircraft coming in. I was really struggling to try and deal with them, so I had to put this thing on the deck and evade. So it takes me a couple of minutes, but I finally managed to find a nice little quiet spot on the map. Well, a, a spot where a lot of aircraft are moving through, but it doesn't seem to be being focused. And I finally take my first kill. I get lucky on a blind shot. Poor guy never saw me coming. And I'm attempting to fly it like I used to fly the boomerang, because I, I cannot intercept anything here. The bombers are faster than me, pretty much all the fighters are faster than the boomerang as well. So all I can do is hold in a spot where the enemy are going to be passing through, and wait. So just trying to get some altitude out of my hole. There's an incoming wave of enemy fighters. I just have to wait to see who's going to pass close enough for me to get a chance to shots off. Enemy fighter diving in on one of my allies. He's got three on him, so I'm not going to dive under. But we've got an air cobra. Oh, get a hit. And second kill. Pull out of the area. I know I've got a number of enemy fighters on my tail at the moment. So I wanted to put some space between me and them. I'll never outrun them. But if I pull far enough out, I become awkward or annoying to try and kill. So I'll usually break off and go for targets that are sitting in an easier position to take out. I'm still being stalked by a KI-45. Go for some range shots, get a hit. Third kill. There's one thing I want you to note with these three kills so far, and if you rewind the video and watch through them, you'll notice this yourself. I have not killed anybody yet who is directly engaged with me. These were planes that were attacking other people on my team and simply never saw me coming. The King Cobra never saw me. The F6F never saw me coming. I'm blindsiding to get the kills. Incoming wave, so I turn away, get a little bit of distance again. I don't want to get caught under all those fighters at once. And there's a B-25 over here. Surely I can catch a B-25.
I'm gaining on it, but that's because it's flying in my direction. And it was about here that I suddenly came to the conclusion on what the problem with the boomerang is. And it's a problem that Wargaming managed to sort out in World of Tanks, but Gaijin has still yet to make it, make the conclusion. And I'm about to get another kill here, again from an aircraft that never saw me coming in. Was just never looking in this direction. Rip it up with stealth ammunition, another kill. Now, there's a little tank in World of Tanks called the E-25. It's a tank destroyer. It's a Tier 7 tank destroyer, and it is incredibly powerful in Tier 7, and borderline overpowered in Tiers below 7. It had to be placed high, however its gun is not powerful enough to effectively fight anything above around Tier 8. In fact, in Tier 8 matches, it really suffers. Now the way World of Tanks Matchmaker works is a Tier 7 tank can fight Tier 9 vehicles and an E25 in a Tier 9 match is unable to compete. It, it cannot penetrate or kill anything. So what they did is they instituted a priority matchmaker on this particular tank. So this particular tank would only face at maximum level 8 tanks, even though it's level 7 and the matchmaker would allow it to face 9 under normal circumstances, the tank had a lockout that prevented it from facing machines that were ridiculous for it to be fighting. The boomerang is the E25 of War Thunder. It is a machine that is too powerful to face machines above it. It's actually quite good when facing machines that are tiered against it in its current form, but it cannot effectively fight anything above it, unless the people flying the machines above it are completely stupid or not paying attention. And there's my fifth and final kill of the match. What I believe Gaijin should have done with the boomerang is leave it at its current tier and just put a lockout to prevent it from facing these new fighters that are being down-tiered at the moment, things like the Bearcat. But that's not what's going to happen. Unless there has been some massive cock-up on the dev server, Boomerang's going to go to Battle Rating 4. And why I do do extremely well in this match, Battle Rating 4, it's going to make Boomerang unflyable. So, results for this match was, I came first place, 5 kills, Survivor and Balancer awards, was never shot down. 22,273 silver lines and 3,432 research points. Now, somebody here is going to point out, I did just come first place in both the realistic battle and in the arcade match. How bad can Boomerang really be? I am, in all modesty, an incredibly good boomerang pilot. I have exceptionally high stats in this plane and I know this plane inside and out. Every single handing characteristic, exactly how well it turns, exactly how well it operates in turns, everything about the plane, its dive performance, what it can and cannot do. And it took everything I had in both of these matches to get the results that I got. And the results in arcade was basically because I blindsided five aircraft to get first place. Not a single one of them was engaging me when I killed them. Not a single one realized I was even there when I fired the shots that took their planes. And the reason why I got first place in realistic battle is because I was simply able to hit a target without killing it so many times that I got awarded so many points that the game had to give me first place. A little while ago, pre-1.37, when I did the review on the boomerang, I told everybody who watched the video that you needed to get a boomerang in your life. The machine was just awesome to fly. It no longer is, and I don't recommend anyone buying it. And if the current dev server is not showing a typo and it is getting battle rank 4 across the board, it will be unflyable no matter how skilled you are as of 1.38. 
fighting bear cats, you're fighting machines that have twice your maneuverability, four times your firepower, and are over 300 kilometers an hour faster. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this video. Click like if you do, subscribe if you want to see more. Fly smart, fly safe, and I'll catch you in the skies.